Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Climb to Master the Series. I take a my main account and climb as much as we can. Oh, one of those people. Don't be that person. Don't ban nothing. At least ask in the chat. Hey, does anybody want to ban? It's always a nice thing to do. Anyway, we return Diamond 3 30 LP. And we are winning, but our MMR is in such a poop place uh, that it's it's being very slow. Like last game, the Heimerdinger game, we gained 14 LP for, per victory. So yeah, and again, people have asked me about this for years. The only way that you make this better is win more than you lose that's it so gotta just keep winning why did i know know he was a zed player i don't know why i just i just in my mind was thinking he's gonna play zed it's like you know the stereotypical not doesn't say anything doesn't ban anything it's like ugh. all right we're oh my heimerdinger pick again i could have played it again because we need an ap champion um and Vladimir's banned too. Well, that's not good for me. What do I want to play against the Nar? It's like either I care about having a balanced team. Oh, I might not need to care. I'd say that is like the one benefit to this meta of having mages in bot lane is that it doesn't screw you over when your mid laner goes an AD champion and most likely going to feed like crazy. Because most of them do feed like crazy. Um... What do I want to play, though? What am I in the mood for? Hmm. Against a Nar. Ooh, I haven't played him in ages. Again, sometimes I just see something and I'm like, I'm in the mood for that, and I just lock it in without really thinking. That's kind of what just happened. Uh, let's go Arcane Combat this matchup. Celerity, Scorch, transform that to that and that. Yeah, I think Urgot could work versus their comp. Alright, so team comp's locked in. Uh, I don't really know which comp I'd prefer. But yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. We're playing Urgot in the top lane. Alright, so welcome to the loading screen. So let's break it down on the enemy team. D5, D4, D5 promo, Plat 2, pla Diamond 5. In my team, D4, D5 in uh, promo, D3, D3, D5. Worth noting, the enemy bot lane, I've already checked these guys are duo Q. They were diamond last season, but they probably are some type of smurfs. Because um, obviously they, you know, they're playing together. They've got a good win rate, but they've never played these champions before. So hopefully they don't exactly know what they're doing. But again, Heimerdinger is a relatively basic champion that pretty much anybody can play. So uh, yeah... We're against the Narvo, who's played two games, has died more than he's got kills, but that is pretty much the same story with me and Urgot. I haven't played him in ages, but I definitely was playing him a little bit more at the start of the season. And then he's gone uh, Summonary, and ba basically the same as me, but I've gone Arcane Comet, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. We're playing Urgot in the top lane. All right, welcome to the game today. Playing Urgot in the top lane. Hopefully, I'll have a good game. Uh, this person, by the way, I played against a few games ago. It's an Aurelian Soul one trick, and they played Ash, and they did absolutely abysmal. And obviously, that is obviously why uh, you know one tricking is never the greatest idea. Because if you don't get it, you play absolutely like Garbo. Because let's say we're in Diamond Four, Diamond Three MMR right now. Probably it has you know it's probably a Diamond Three, Diamond Four MMR type. Uh, got, um, not uh, got Aurelian Soul player, but if you put that on an auto field because they only play one thing very well, they're probably like you know a low platinum gold type everything else. So yeah, Ward bot pixel bot please. Thanks. What does that mean? No idea. There could be a fight for the um. Scuttle over here, by the way. Just to remind everybody, I just popped into my head. If you're not doing YouTube videos, make sure you remove nameplates above people's heads. Oh, wow, you pushed it away. Because um, there's actually no reason to have them. Um, they take up space, like, you know, in a team fight. Get rid of all the space that is, like, negative space is what you call it. Um, so, yeah. The only reason I have it on is because I'm a YouTuber. So if people want to look up people's accounts and stuff, it's really easy. They can just like pause the video, look at the guy's name and voila. So that's why I do it. Uh, I would if you're not making YouTube videos or something. 
Okay, I want to try and farm really well this game. I'm in that type of mood. We'll see how long that lasts. Maybe I'll even buy a cull to try and help me farm more. Again, cull doesn't help you farm, but it reminds you to farm, in my opinion. Um, Because it's a constant, like, ticking down reminder of, you know, hey, you need to kill 100 minions. Kill them, kill them, kill them. So... That's why I think it's quite good. If, you, if you're bad with farming and you're playing something that cull is good on, I'd always get a cull. And then eventually you'll just become good at farming and you no longer have to buy the cull to get good at farming. Huzzy tip. Right, let's push this in. Aurelian. Okay, so Aurelian, by the way, could roam. We have to remember it's an Aurelian one trick. So they, they their whole play style is about roaming. He's basically the Quinn of mid lane, more or less. And then that bot lane, the high midding Azira, is all about like pushing with crazy damage. Still, I don't like that Aurelian's been missing that long. Again, okay, he's in mid lane. You can't roam like um, um, crazy months in the early game because you'll just get behind your lane opponent. But yeah, I don't know how our bot lane's gonna go. I have a funny feeling that the, the Nami is gonna offer nothing, but we'll see. An un like a unsuccessful gank in thingy. Bot lane. Aurelian's missing again. I'll try not. Okay, you went bot side. Read your lane opponent's body language a lot of the time of knowing if someone's coming top lane or something. They'll look a lot eager. If like, especially if in the lane phase so far, what is this Dar done? Not really auto attack to me. Just look for occasional cues. If he then suddenly looks to auto attack you, why? Why is he looking to do that? What's changed? Nice. I've always found as well if if you beat a one trick in the early game, a lot of the time they get tilted. Because they are expecting to win their 1v1, obviously. Because that's what they specialize in, is that one champion. Okay, Kazix has taken over mid lane. Nara's gone mossing. He is big. Nice trade. Both take damage, but it was positive for me. Especially with dodging that. Close. I'm, I'm hoping he stays for him with level 6. So that's happened so often with Urgot. Is uh, people forget that it's an execute. Damn. And people get caught out when we both ding six. And if you just get them, you know, a little bit lower, boom. Free kill. Oh my god. This is the Aurelian roaming. This isn't good for us at all. At least they get one in return. Again, you can't make it too obvious what your plan is. Because if I make it too obvious, ding six and... Okay, it's, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when a plan works, man. Been planning that for like the past, you know, minute or so, and then it works. Oh, that's a good feeling. Ugh. That Nar shouldn't have died to that. I'm going to save my teleport, because why not? Huzzy can be a little harsh on one tricks IMO. Nah, I just dislike them. Again, if you're watching my channel on the regular and you don't know that I dislike them, then... Yeah. But to be honest, majority of pros in League dislike them too. Shipter absolutely hates them. To me, they're just the most anti-competitive thing in a competitive game. I don't know.
Straight into a Graves. Oh, Graves, you mucked up. Also, Nami's dead. But, oh, Zed gets a return kill, but then Kha'Zix shows up, unfortunately. It's good that he's killing him in the 1v1, though. Okay, we can do that move again in 20 seconds. Again, this is a matchup that's always been generally in Urgot's favour, by the way, in the history of this lane. But with how kind of poop my bot lane's doing, they may uh, just trade them away. Jesus, how the hell are we going to win this game? Am I afraid of clowns? Nope. I actually, like, without sounding whatevers, I don't have a phobia of anything. Um, I've always found phobias a little bit weird, if I'm honest. Oh my god, my bot lane just can't stop feeding. Ugh. Again, we kept teleport for a reason. I was expecting a gank. Not from Aurelian, but I was expecting a gank for a while. I needed that to hit. Oh. can definitely 2v2 them if I can, like, kill one in a 1v2. Oh, please don't say you're now gonna die. <sighs> Zed needs to roam more. <laughs> wow. Zed nearly got absolutely obliterated. Yay, kill him! Yay! Oh. <laughs> of course, you took the kill. Can I have some help? Might try to do Rift Herald soon. There's a chance. Hell yeah. Nice. Who are they going to put against me? Ah, nah. Hello. You meet again. That was a bad aim. Bad wave. Bad positioning. Can you guess what the key word is? Do we not kill that? Oh, I guess he didn't have Brandal up. Wow, that Zed was... Oh! 
That's Zyra. Oh! Oh! This is the Grellion! Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm guessing we didn't have Brandel in that, because I think they would have got absolutely obliterated if we did. Good double bubble. Heal yourself! Heal yourself! Okay, no. She chose the wrong thing. She went for her E instead of healing. Could have killed her. What a fiesta. Oh, it's a shame I hit, uh, missed my ultimate. Brand ulted a bit of radio. Oh, is that what happened? Ah, okay. So apparently Brand ulted, but Aurelian uses his stopwatch, so it kind of just got rid of the ultimate. That sucks. That really sucks. We probably would have won that team fight really easily if the ult actually managed to do its bouncings. So they base the enemy bot lane, the Heimerdinger and the Zyra, basically all they've done this game is go bot lane, kill the tower, then go top lane, kill the tower, and now they're in mid lane and they want to kill the tower. those waves. She's dead. So me and Nara just split pushing on the side. I guess. Still in the area ish. Yeah, I think we can do something here. She's not dead. Oh my god, that was so close. Wow. So close. Ooh, good Zed ult. Well done, Zed. Well done. That was really good. Oh, that's a good wave. That's better. Wait, I'm hitting his top lane alone. Good. Good bubble. Guess I'll go top lane. Weird. Uh, mutes are completely personal. You never can say if someone's deserving to be muted or not because it's a completely personal situation. That hit. Which slows him. Hey, you're gonna die. Wait, Nars here? Oh! Well, that Heimerdinger just baited, like, Nar to die as well, I guess. Bonk, bonk. A fitting prize! Oh, what? Yeah, they're fine. This game's getting better. Um, Some kid. Thanks, dude. Welcome.
Eh, one more wave. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Captain Loco, thanks, man. Yeah, like, like, again, I've always found it weird when people moan about when I mute people because, major like, not majority, but a lot of people in rank start the game by muting everybody. That's the first thing they do. They enter the game, mute all. Good bubble. Um, so, yeah. And if someone to me is just slightly annoying, I, I just mute. It doesn't really matter. Like, when has ever people used the chat in League of Legends for actually something good? <laughs> Very, very rare. Zed could kill Aurelion because he hasn't got um, Zonyas yet. Pretty sure also none of them can stop me in a 1v1. Uh, the art, you know, will I ever have a 1v1 though is the uh, better. Ooh, that was close. Probably not. Damn. I'm guessing Zed was warded or something. And the chat's never going to be removed because it's an online game. Wow, that timing. Climbing a still top lane by himself. It's like, is he just wanting to split push the rest of the game? Because I don't think that's going to go very well for them. Because I'm actually partially, like, a little bit scared of Heimerdinger and team fights. And what, then just not going to use him in team fights? Grouping. Okay, they've learned that they need to group. It's like a showdown that is achieving nothing right now. Good wave. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Damn, Kazix didn't die. Are you serious? Nice. All right, get in hip. I'd actually say the Zed is playing quite well now. Like his his decisions of when to go in on people are very good. Like, he initially goes for the, like, initial chunky damage, and then's like, do I go, do I not? And a lot of the time, he's making the correct decision of when to go. So it's really good to see. Oh. Hopefully Nami doesn't die. They should just back off and reset. See, that's where pe me and a lot of people differ. Someone in Twitch says, like, I tend not to mute people, as in they don't, because they like to see people rage. I hate seeing people rage. I just, it bugs me. This is a desperation attempt. Ah, oh, I landed straight on him. That was basically, we're losing, we may as well just try to do something barren. So that was pretty easy. And we win. There you go. Uh, we're climbing again, which is nice. And we're, we're, play, we're, we're doing pretty well, I'd say. Like, I'm playing quite, I don't know, consistent that I'm not doing terrible in most games. Like... And if I am having, like, a rougher game, I a lot of the time I'm being useful, at least. Or trying to be. Uh, we'll give it to the Graves. I, I probably should give it to the Zed, I don't know. But he was a bit annoying. 
All right, so we got, an again, only 14 LP. Ugh, it sucks. I don't know what, like, I am just keep winning, I guess. Uh, 522, 177 farm, which was, what, the most farm in the game as well. And, I, hey, I did say at the beginning of the game I wanted to farm. And then we got an A+, plus, and then damage done, doing the meh, mediocre damage. Kazakh's doing the least in the game. Zed doing the most, then the Heimerdinger. I think I come in, like, fourth or fifth. But yeah, not bad. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, throw a like on it. I'm happy that we are climbing. It's just we need to get our MMR in a better state. Because, you know, I, if winning three games in a row, I only like 14 roughly LP. Well, if you're gaining normally 18 LP, there's 12 more LP that I should have been gaining if my MMR was in a neutral place. By adding up like, again, you're gaining 14, you should be gaining 18. So... 4 plus 4 plus 4, making the difference, would be 12 LP. So right now I'd be at 56. So it's a bit annoying. But anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, so like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. And I also, I did think I heard... I oh, know I didn't. Apparently someone else... That, that person was the most honourable. I thought I might have got it. But anyway, goodbye.